Uh, hi. You may remember me from a, a YouTube show from a while back. It's been a minute. I think it's been probably three weeks, three to four weeks since we've uploaded anything. And I would say that it's probably been two to three weeks since I've even looked at the YouTube app on my phone or my computer. Um, I haven't opened my movie editor program. I uh, haven't recorded anything with the camera. I, I would say that it's honestly been a little nice because YouTube, if you don't know, if you're uploading, you know, weekly or bi, you know, it, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of work. Um, I like it. I'm not complaining, but it's nice taking a break. And I know that you, you out there that have been watching for a long time know that a break was needed. Um, a break is good and that you're, and you're happy. I took a break <laughs> for the few of you that have been complaining with YouTube, you, you know, the channel doesn't grow unless you upload videos. In fact, we've lost probably over 130 subscribers in the last three weeks from just not uploading. I don't really understand it. We've never really been motivated by the numbers. We've never been motivated by the revenue. It's always about just sharing the house. And, and I guess that gets me to my point. Um, we're going to do a quick video, an update video, I guess you could call it of like where we've been, what we're doing, the plan going forward. I know a lot of people would probably enjoy this uh, because I'm gonna talk about the things that we've noticed in the house over the last four months of living here full time, uh, things that we've, we like, things that we dislike. Uh, there are some, I think, major issues that we're gonna have to address, maybe not this spring, maybe next spring because I really want to focus on the other side of the house this spring, but let's get to it. Um, I have a list because, you know, that's what I do. Where have we been? Well, I kind of already mentioned we haven't, we, we've been here. We've been living. Uh, I have a new job. I, I got a new job about eight to 10 months ago um, with the agency that I work for. And it's, it's a high level, high stress kind of job. So I just, I've been working from home, which is nice. And just learning my new job and getting acquainted with that. Um, but we have been here. We, we've, uh, we haven't really gone anywhere, to be honest. There's reasons for that, but we haven't really been doing anything. So as far as maybe more specific, like what, what have we done on the house? What have I done that I haven't recorded? The answer really is about nothing. Uh... uh Sarah painted the trim a little bit. Mouth. Open your monster mouth. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you got monster knees. This is where Sarah primed. What I need to do is, uh, I need to fix this top piece here. It curves in and it bothers me. Have I done anything else? Yeah, I feel lazy. So as previously stated, we've been living here now for three to four months, and these are some things that we've noticed with the house. Things that, uh, good, good and bad, right? First off, the house is really warm. We tend to keep it like 70 to 72. The blower may kick on while I'm doing this, and I'll have to stop recording, because that blower is loud. And that's one of the things we've noticed, is that blower is loud. It blows air into the, uh, the first floor and the bedrooms, and it's loud because it's, it's just so super powerful. So I think what I can do to alleviate that is I can make uh, one extra run downstairs that will help, uh, I guess, lessen the airflow noise, but I still need to keep adequate airflow upstairs. So I probably need to do some math because I think what I need to do is add maybe like two eight inch vents downstairs because the basement could be a little warmer. Basements can always be warmer. If I do that, it will lessen the airflow for upstairs and I think it will help make that a little quieter. We like, we like quiet heating systems like the in-floor heat. That's another thing we've noticed. The in-floor heat is magical. I've said it before, in-floor heat is probably the best way to heat a house. Yeah, the, the in-floor is no joke. 
It's this this room is 80 degrees. It's so nice. And that's why when we go to do the other side of the house, we're going to 100% now do in-floor heat for the whole kitchen. It will be all tiled anyways, but yeah, in-floor heat. It's amazing. So the big thing that's happening right now is we we have some moisture meters in the house and they're reading about anywhere between 35 to 40 which isn't really that high of moisture, but we're getting condensation on some of windows, most windows, even the new windows or the old windows. The condensation is then leading to a little bit of uh, like frost buildup. So I'm not, I'm not 100% super concerned about it because it dries, it goes away. It also has been like yesterday, it was negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this morning it was negative 20. And when you get that cold and your house is 70 degrees, and you know, for those of you that might not know, you might be new, you can go back and watch the videos, but this house is spray foamed. And so the only place really that I'm losing heat is the windows. And where you lose heat, warm, hot air, it's moist air, and then you're gonna get that condensation. So I don't know what to do about it. I know that some windows can be repaired from the outside. They need to be just sealed better. Um, some windows might have to be replaced. Um, we're not gonna replace the old windows in the front of the house, won't do it. I'd rather just have a little bit of frost on those storm windows uh, for a couple months out of the year. I just don't wanna get rid of the old windows. We, we like them too much. One thing, I guess I wanted to talk about likes and dislikes. Um, now that we're living here full time, we've definitely grown to dislike the driveway. Hard to show, but the, the driveway is way down here. I think I could make another driveway up here, which would be way up higher on the hill. That way you could see better here. See, in the driveway, looking left, you can see the little hill right there. A little hill right there. You wouldn't believe it, but there is a 14 second delay where a car can come down that road, disappear, and then pop up over that hill. So when you're, before you pull out, you've got to count 14 seconds. The other way, this isn't as bad. You can obviously see really well. One thing that we really like is how warm the house is. And when we get our bills for propane, they're around three to four hundred dollars every month and a half. So that's really good. Back in the day when we first moved in here, it was well over seven hundred, um, sometimes over eight hundred dollars a month to, to heat the house this time of year. So now it's it, it's like a third of that. It's just amazing. The the spray foam, you know, all the work that we've done, it's definitely gonna pay for itself in the long haul because you know we were just I mean, it was thousands of dollars a year to heat the house. And we were only heating the house to like 50. So think of that, like we're heating, we're heating the house to 70 now and it's still one third of what it was. So spray foam, <laughs> it's well worth the cost. Okay, so I guess I gotta wrap it up, right? Uh, our plan going forward. Okay, so it's, it's the en end of January right now. Um, I think that we will want to start the other side of the house um, March or April. March or April. Probably April. And that's not for any other reason other than I need to give the tenant like really good adequate time and notice to be able to find a new place. We don't want to just, you know, have to rush him out quick. And it won't be because he knows. He knows all about what's going to happen. Yeah, starting the other side of the house come April. I really hope that I can get that completely gutted, framed, and then spray foamed in in the spring and, and fall. That would be amazing. There's a, a lot more that needs to happen. Like we're gonna be doing the back porch in the spring. I'd like to be able to do the front porch also. I'm gonna see if I can't get the contractor that we are hiring to do both. Uh, it'll be really nice to get those done. And then there's also when I say framing the other side of the house, I think we're going to be doing some huge changes to like the roof structure, which is going to be pretty major. 
Uh, and I'll get to that. I'll explain the whole thing, obviously, in, in the videos to come. But that's the plan. I, I will be doing little things around the Stonehouse side, but I probably won't share any of it because it's really just not share worthy. You know, that's what it comes down to. You know, like, I could probably try to make videos every week. Um, they would be mostly family-oriented videos, you know, and maybe a little bit of housework. But it's really, it, you know, to me, that's not really what I want to do. That's not really what I want to share. It's not... They're playing with blocks upstairs. So I hope you understand that. If you follow us on Instagram, I do little updates here and there on different things. So you can find me on Instagram. It's just 1806 Stonehouse. But that's it. I wanted to do I wanted to do this up, update type video. I know that this type of video won't get a lot of views because there's no work, no change, no nothing like that. But for those of you that are super interested and have been following us this whole time, um, I know that you care and I know that you want to know. So that's why I did it. Um, that's it. See the difference? The blower just kicked off. I think you'll be able to tell. But anyways, that's it. You know I could ramble forever. <laughs> so nice talking to y'all. I'm looking forward to your comments. Uh, if you do have any ideas, maybe what we can do, uh, let me know. You know, if you are, uh, if you've experienced something like that with the window situation, let me know. If you have a whole house dehumidifier, I'd love to know if you noticed a big difference. Um, but that's it. Um, until next time, see you later. I can't really do an update video without showing you guys. Right? So some major changes here. Uh, Jace has been growing his hair long. Though yesterday you said you wanted to cut it. I think you're kind of sick of it. But yeah, he wanted long hair, so he, he's doing it. Uh, <laughs> Another thing that happened, major change, is Liliana is now two digits old. She turned 10. Exciting. One of the presents that she got was this uh, little build-yourself mini home. You also have been making some little mini furniture downstairs in the work workshop. I should show that, huh? I set, I set this up for Lily so she had a place to work, but she's in here at like seven o'clock in the morning and, uh, you know, building stuff out of all the scraps that I have. You can see she's, she's made a little bookshelf, a bed, table, and a piano, and a chair. Sarah's building like a, like a dollhouse, I think. She just comes down here and... Just all like hand saw stuff, just little scraps, just for fun. That's one thing that I probably should have mentioned is that we absolutely love having a usable basement space. The shop is also a nice thing to have. Just to have a space where you can come down here, it's in floor heat, so it's very nice. It's probably 65 degrees down here. It's just really cool and the kids spend a lot of time down here playing and and don't you don't have to worry about the tools these things are all off they're unplugged and the breakers off so they just literally can't be turned on i tape the joiner thing shut so it can't even be opened um and to be honest with you my kids know not to touch them because we tell them not to and they listen so <laughs> yeah they uh they don't they don't touch them but they're down here and they're playing they're building and they're i don't know i i think this this is like a really fun space for for everybody. A video is not a video unless I show mom. Laundry. You're enjoying your dryer? Yeah. I, I mean, maybe we could talk about that. We haven't had any problems with this heat pump dryer. It's worked really well. And then the Speed Queen seems to do a good job too. Another thing that I could mention is, I guess electric bill wise, at our other house, our electric bill was always pretty much 160 to $200. We had electric hot water heater, electric dryer, you know, and so on and so forth. Here, we have that heat pump dryer, which is electric, but it uses a lot less power. And then we obviously don't have an electric hot water heater anymore. We've got the boiler. Our, um, our electric bill here has never really been over like 105.
So that's pretty significant. Yeah. That's and this is the time of year that it would be highest because for one it gets dark at like four o'clock, so we're using all of our lights and we can't put laundry outside to dry, so we're using that dryer every day. So yeah, that's that's a big difference. So so renovate a house, spend all the money on the renovation so you can save like 50 bucks on your electric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, as stated, the, the in-floor up here is really good. It's, it's worked really well, we like it. Um, this window here, it's nuts right now, but this is not frost, this is blown snow that can find its way inside the window. And then it's creating these like wicked cool crystals on the... Uh, screen <laughs> so it's not that's all at least on the outside but i don't know what i can do about that really like you can't what happens is the chimney is like right there so i think it just hits that and it kind of swales and i've seen it do it so that's how i know what this is this is also a great bird's eye view of the birds you get some good pictures from this angle all right, that's going to do it for us. I hope you all enjoyed the update and the explanations. If you have any suggestions, you know, for anything that we talked about, uh, let me know. But we'll see you next time I either find something interesting to do or um, something interesting happens. But I hope you're all enjoying your uh, your winter, and we'll we'll see you later.